inverse of square root function. In the test paper, if you get this question, f of x equals to square root of x, and you need to find the inverse of this function, students normally are very happy. They say, well, this could be, nothing could be simpler than that. But you'll be surprised to see that 90% student get this wrong. And look into my solution. I will make the mistake. And you figure out at which stage did I make a mistake and how should I have corrected it. So the whole exercise here is for you to properly watch how I'm doing it and what is the mistake being committed. Now it is like good to know that I'm going to give you a wrong answer. And so be alert and find out my mistake. Now determine inverse of the function f of x equals to square root x. So we have f of x equals to square root x. So first step is write this as y equals to square root x. Next is to interchange and we write x for y and y for x. Simple as that. Now we need to isolate y. So we'll square both sides and we say x square equals to y. So we got y equals to x square. Right, perfect. We got y equals to x square. Now since y equals to x square, we can write down inverse of this function as f inverse of x is equals to x square. Now that is what we have done. It is definitely a wrong answer. So what is the mistake which I have done and where have I committed mistake? How could I avoid it? That is the biggest question here. Can you help me in that? Okay, let's look into this problem in a different way. Now, my solution will start from domain of the function, right? Now, tell me, what is the domain of this function? So, the domain of this function is uh, x belongs to real numbers, uh, but x should be greater than or equal to 0. So, that is the domain of this function. And what is the range of this function? Range of this function is that y belongs to real numbers and y is greater than or equal to 0, right? How do you know all this? A genuine question, how do you know all this? So you basically know because you could have drawn this square root function like this, right? And you can see that x is greater than or equal to 0, right? Along this direction. And y is also going up, right? It makes sense. So that is perfectly fine. Now, so that is your function, which is square root x, right? If this is your square root x, then how come x square becomes its inverse? Yes, that is to be thought about. What is x square? x square is a function which is kind of like this. So how, how could this function be inverse of that? Strictly speaking, inverse of this function is only this half. Not that part. You got it. So therefore, we should write here that x is greater than or equal to 0. Now it becomes inverse of square root x. Do you get the point? So truly speaking, the answer for this is that f inverse of x is equal to x square where x is greater than or equal to 0. Do you understand that part? So the domain of this function now becomes x belongs to real numbers where x is greater than or equal to 0 and the range of this function is y belongs to real numbers where y is greater than or equal to 0. If we switch that, you get the same answer. Do you see that? You get the same answer switching. If you don't put this restriction, then domain becomes all real numbers, which is a wrong answer. Now, okay, so we went backwards and found that there was a mistake. We corrected. But in the solution, where is the mistake? Mistake is at this stage. When we square at that time, we have to consider what could be the possible values of x. When we square here, then even that minus values have become plus. Do you see that? So we have to write here 
that x is greater than or equal to 0. And from there onwards, if we would have done this, then we could have got the right answer straight away. Do you see that? That is what I meant to say. So whenever we are working on square root function, my suggestion is do domain and range and keep an eye on this. Keep an eye on this. That will ensure correct answer. Otherwise, you'll always get a wrong answer for sure. I hope you appreciate that part. Okay. Thanks and all the best.